free, free dudes I can, free things I can play with two mana. Still don't like it. Better, much better. All right. So again, we're in the position where we have to add to a six-minute video, and so we want to have a small, a small victory, a small video to add on top of it. So what better a, a, a position? To choose to play against than someone named Petit. <laughs> that was way too much effort for a joke that wasn't even funny. Yay! <laughs> Mr. Petit, let's see what you've got. You're playing crosswinds, there's a fog bank that can't block me. <laughs> or this. <laughs> and actually, Helmet Gas Lord is great here because it's amazing on the 2 1 dude. Get in, get in. I think I'll just play my Invismancer like so, because I don't even have the second swamp. And the most, the guys that really appreciate um, having a Nurak Invismancer make them unblockable for a turn are guys that usually require me to have two swamps. So, and I'm expecting bounce. Do 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 do. Yep. Yep, yep, and so even in the position where I had the perfect creature for the Helm of the Guest Lord to combo off with, even then it's not good, because <laughs> I just, it just gets bounced and now uh, I wasted my whole turn against the deck with counter spells. Um, yep, that's what happened, that is indeed what happened just now. Alright, um, this thing, Gas Lord of Fugue, is amazing against this deck, I think. So, we'll play Grim Green into his counter spell. Do, do, do. Is it gonna get counter spelled, or are you going to try and bounce my guy as I sacrifice something and then. I lose a lot of card advantage from all of that happening. That's probably what's gonna happen. Alright. Um, yeah, Grimgorin against the deck with Bounce. Hmm. Not that amazing. Alright, I lose my other cards. Well, Nemesis of Reason. Wow, I, 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 I don't mind this at all. I got some pretty good cards out of this. Don't know what, what that was all about. Um, so. Ashling? Do I play Ashling? Or do I play Nemesis? I think I play Nemesis of Reason. Because it's a victory condition. And I'll just sack the unblockable. And get in for 6 here. So now I'm threatening him with a lot of damage as well as with um, milling him from Nemesis of Reason, so that's cool. This thing only needs to get in one more time to kill him. So yeah. I really I really I don't understand that play at all. Um, what are you gonna copy? Sacrifice another creature. Hmm. Alright, well, but even then I, I don't see what the point is of... Oh, it's a legendary, okay, that's why. Yep, alright. There was a point indeed. There was a point indeed. Um, so now we play a swamp. Uh, I've got seven mana, so I can play Nemesis of Reason as well as Dimmer, Dimir Guildmage, Dimir, Dimir, whatever. Let's say go. Um, I don't know. If I don't know, Ashling is useful, but this thing mills him even if it doesn't connect, so it is a threat in and of itself and, and it can win in three turn four turns. Um as well as just with the combat damage. Um he has a lot of cards in hand though, and he's playing crosswinds, so he should have something to do. Right of replication, he's going to be trying to mill me, I guess. Twin cast, yeah, definitely, definitely going to try and mill me. Um, 
at least I get a head start. And at least he didn't copy Ashling. Also, I can Agony Warp and Ribbons of Night. I can also make my guy unblockable. So I got 8 mana. Alright. Why are you pausing? I know you got nothing with zero mana on, so why are you pausing? What is this for? Um, oh, I should have targeted this with the minus three, minus oh. Yeah, then I could have attacked with the guild mage as well. That was my mistake. Um, I planned to do it, but I somehow just, in the, in the execution, Something went wrong in my mind. <laughs> um, Ashling the Extinguisher and Mask of Riddles, I don't know. Mm. What? I mean, Mask of Riddles unblockable means... That's pretty good if he's got 5 power to defend with. I'm winning with the milling, so that's good. I'll take that. Fog Bank, yeah, okay, so Mask of Riddles will be at least somewhat useful. I feel like uh, um, Ashling should have been on the field by now, but I don't know. Yes, I want to use Islands to do that. Now we'll get in there. And I'll draw a card. There, ooh, there is time warp. Oh, the mirror is uh, is in his graveyard. That's good. Bribery is in his graveyard as well. Cool stuff. Um, Ashling, because I can then equip Ashling with the fear and hit him for four damage that I need to, get it, to finish it off. So, of course, this thing can block it. Um, fear doesn't work against Nemesis of reason. That would only be reasonable. <laughs> that joke was way too far-fetched. Alright. Swamp. Hmm. Um... I think I need to m m make him discard at one card. Uh, get in with this guy, he can only block it with that. I mill him down to his 10 last cards. He's played his one card that prevents him from being milled, so that's already good. Um, and that got exiled. Um, Discard the one last card you have there, just to be safe. And a leak, not too interesting. And play my other two creatures, which I don't know if it even matters, but whatever. Time Stretch was in his graveyard, Mirror was in his graveyard. I saw at least one t uh, Time Warp, I think there's a second one, yep. So all his time shenanigans are in the graveyard. Free, yeah, I think all his counter spells are in the graveyard as well, so. There wasn't a lot left for him to draw and actually still win there. So there, that was that was nemesis of reason winning the game for me. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name has been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo in the next video. And have a great day. Bye-bye.